the Chicago Hare Airport was a place where we distributed a lot of books and we were there day in and day out and some of the people who were also there day in and day out, the employees, they didn't appreciate our presence there and some of them were antagonistic even and some of them on occasion caused bodily harm to some of the devotees who were distributing Prophet's books. And um, you know, in retrospect, I can understand why they were agitated and why we irked them to the extent that we did, but they, of course, had no access to our motivation and, and, and what we were really about. Um, in my mind, it was an awkward place for Prabhupada to be coming. There were so many books that had been distributed there, and it was auspicious in that regard, but there were, you know, in ISKCON terminology, there were demons there also. So Prabhupada got off the plane, and I'm thinking, I've got to protect Prabhupada. Who knows? One of these crazy guys here could run up and throw something at him, or who knows what, because they have, had done things like that to his disciples. And so I was standing next to Prabhupada and kind of protecting him from the crowd in my mind, and we were walking towards the door to go out onto the curb, and, and the access kind of funneled down, and you know, then to go through the door, only one person could go through, and here I was like preoccupied with this idea that I'm going to protect Prabhupada and get him through the door safely. And, and Prabhupada just went like this with his left arm when I was standing on his left side. <laughs> the next thing I can remember, I was at the back of the crowd, everybody's in front of me, and Prabhupada was in the car. <laughs> and uh, the police were ushering him off to the temple. And it was very mystical to me because I thought, oh, here I was thinking, I'm protecting the, the spiritual master, and he's showing me. I'm protected by Krishna, <laughs> and I can protect you also.